beloved people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. Today, I have already gained contact. Finally, now I have gained contact again with the pale horse and the rider of the pale horse. The Lord again has caused me now to gain contact with the rider of the pale horse. Remember the first time I gained contact with him was that July 29th, 2009, asleep on the floor of the airport in South Africa, Oliver Tambo International Airport, South Africa, on my way, waiting for 24 hours to cross the ocean to Venezuela, El Tigre, Valencia, where it does, San Felix, Maturin, all the big events that uh, took place in Venezuela at that time, uh, waiting from that floor of the airport, 29th of July 2009, when again I stood right inside the throne of God before the Lord, and that fourth seal was broken, and the pale host man was released. The details of that will come this Saturday. But the Lord has again brought contact between me and the rider of the pale host, at this time, but I have already gained contact with the rider of the pale horse. So th this is a tremendous time upon the history of the earth. I know that many nations across the face of the earth, India was warned. I already warned India to prepare for the coming of the Messiah and stop idol worship. I spoke to Mexico to stop uh, devil worship, to stop worshiping Santa Muerte which is the spirit of death or something, Satan, in fact, satanic worship. I want Uruguay to stop Adoración de Satanás, even up to Montevideo and Punto del Este, and the homosexuality that has destroyed that nation. The big cruise ships that go to Punta del Este, discos and homosexual feasts and parties from Brazil, all the way headed down, the fully only homosexual cruise ship going that way. At that time, I warned Uruguay, I warned Montevideo, I warned, uh, I came there in person, and also warned uh, Punta del Este and other towns where I came and preached to you about the coming of the Messiah, about the need to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah, the anointed way, the holy way. I have warned Brazil, I've been to Rio de Janeiro, I've been to Sao Paulo, I've been to Campo Grande, and I've warned Brazil to prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. I went to Sweden almost five times, Uppsala, met Gothenburg, many places of Sweden, uh, Stockholm, and did warn Sweden. I have gone to Finland quite a few times, I don't know whether five or six times, warned all the way to Ivaskala, um, Turk, or Sampere, and told them the Messiah is coming. I have warned Nigeria. I came to Nigeria, to Lagos, and said prepare the way the Messiah is coming. I have been to Congo Brazzaville and I warned Congo Brazzaville. I warned them that it's time to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And I warned DRC Congo in Kinshasa. And I've warned the Dominican Republic. I've warned Spain. I've warned Namibia, Zambia, Mozambique, the UK in Wallowin. Uh, when I came to you, New Zealand, all the way to Gisborne, New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, Chile, United States, many nations. The Lord has spoken very clearly, uh, South Korea, I have warned you that the Messiah is coming. It's time to prepare a holy way for the coming of the Lord. You can now see the unfolding on the earth, and then you know who warned you who told you to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. It's time to be born again, receive Jesus very well, make sure you're born again properly, and you pursue righteousness in your life. Fully baptized in complete immersion, the way the Savior of the world, our Savior, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was baptized in the Jordan River, and the way the Holy Spirit came and baptized him. That now you may observe all righteousness, and so the Messiah is coming. The rider of the pale horse, he has sovereignty. He's not limited in his jurisdiction. He has sovereignty. That's why he sees using all instruments. 
That's why you see the financial markets are crashing. But these are the beginnings of bad pay. The Lord is simply showing you a little glimpse of what is coming up. And uh, I know that the, Lord, the way the Lord created the church, created men, is that you are always risk averse. When you see danger coming your way, you have a natural instinct to place in you to avoid the danger. If you see a tsunami coming your way, you would flee, you would run away. If a truck is coming to crush you, you would run away and give way and go in another direction to evade it, to avoid it. In the same way, the Lord is showing you a glimpse of what these two prophets will do in the Great Tribulation, in both the Tribulation and especially in the Great Tribulation. And uh, he's telling you that, please get out of the way. This is going to turn into a theater. Get out of the way. Things will get absolutely terrible, unbearable. Like you can see now, you can see the, the, the press secretary of Bolsonaro, the Brazilian president, meeting with the Brazilian president together with Donald Trump at mar a -Lago in Florida, and then he tests positive. You can see what's happening in Iran, what's happening in Italy. And the pastors in Italy that tried, they met and blackmailed me. You did not know whom you touched. Because the Lord showed it to me. He came, he brought me there. I was standing there as you were talking. It was very dreadful. I thought it would strike all of you. And so now look at what has happened to your country. Denmark is in shutdown also. Look at what's happened to the earth. Prepare the way. Things are bad. This world is coming to an end. So please prepare for the coming of the Messiah. The Lord is going to take back ownership of this earth. But it will be a confrontation. There's going to be a campaign. There's going to be a theater here, a war theater, to take back the ownership of the earth. And already his, his servants, his fighters are on the ground, as you know now. If you look at Jesus is Lord Radio dot info, you see that visitation. That when he came to Kisumu December twenty second, it was not anything to celebrate about, you can see. And the locust is devastating unbelievably. I have walked on the earth and I've seen the two prophets walking and there is not even one single leaf that has grown on the surface of the soil on the earth. And I I didn't see people, so I don't know what happened to people. And I was moving slowly as in a battle had been done, and I was tired. So, blessed people, the Messiah is coming. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Believe the gospel. Be holy. This is not time for reading John chapter 3, verse 3 anymore. This is time to take Christ. The evidence is very clear. The benefits of salvation are now very clear. If you just watch your news, you now understand that nobody should even evangelize to you now. You should simply receive Jesus and prepare to enter the safety of heaven. Again, the Lord did allow me to gain contact with the rider of the pale horse and the pale horse. So those believe in creature and creation, now you can turn and depend and trust the creator. Those that worship creature and creation, the time to worship creature and creation is over. It's time now to worship the creator, Jehovah, the mighty ancient God of Israel, because time is over and the Messiah is coming.